Hey, Plotter Pals! I'm Stacy Anderson, sci-fi author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today, we have another great update for the Plotter mobile app. With this newest release, you can create timeline templates and mobile projects, flip the timeline for those of you who prefer the vertical view, as well as share your files in the iOS version. Be sure to let us know which feature is your favorite in the comments below, and let's dive in! Here we are in the dashboard for the Plotter mobile app. In addition to creating a new project or selecting a project file to open, we can now start from a template. When I choose this option, it now gives us a list of starter templates to choose from. So we can scroll through the menu on the left and choose any of the templates to see what it will create. For instance, the 12-step mystery formula will create two plot lines, and 12 scene cards. The hero's journey will create one plot line with 12 scene cards, and Romancing the Beat will create one plot line with 20 scene cards. So if we choose Romancing the Beat, we can now name our project for our new romance book. We can also add additional books to this series using templates by clicking on the plus icon to create the book and choosing from template and selecting another template. So you can choose Romancing the Beat again or choose from another on the list such as the Cozy Mystery Beat Sheet. Clicking the pencil icon to edit the details of the book I can give it a name. Let's take a look at the Romancing the Beat template that we used in our first romance book by clicking on the cover to bring us to the timeline. We'll see the scene card set up for each of the stages we'll need to hit in our romance book. By tapping on the pencil icon in the corner of each scene card, we'll see a description for what we need to do in this beat such as introducing the first hero or heroine, or the meet cute. And you can begin plotting by either typing directly into this scene card or creating a new plot line. And for those of you who prefer to view the timeline vertically with the plot lines along the top and the beats or chapters along the left-hand side, you can now do that with the icon in the top right corner. So I'll choose to flip. And now we can view our beats from top to bottom. Or we can flip it back and view it horizontally again. Once you're ready to share your plotter file with a co-writer, editor, or friends or beta readers, you can do that in the iOS version from the dashboard. In the top left corner, And you can share it through one of the installed apps on your device, such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or any other cloud storage provider, as well as to email it. And you can find the details for all of the features and fixes included in this update in the release notes. So who do you plan to share your plotter files with? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, happy plotting!